Some years ago in Cathedral, while I was the, the head of the media department, I told them, I have no problem with you, young girls and men, getting married to yourselves. But if I catch you, if you're fornicating, I will suspend you. I won't wait for the church authority to come and tell us what to do before we do it. I told them, this media group is my congregation. So long as the Bible exists, and so long as I am alive, and so long as I am the head of this media department, I will suspend you outrightly. If you commit fornication, I will suspend you. A lot of churches, they only suspend you when you get pregnant out of wedlock. Is pregnancy a sin? Pregnancy is not a sin. It is what brings a pregnancy outside wedlock. That is a sin. So we should address the real issue. When we see people getting pregnant in church out of wedlock, we make them feel like they are the worst sinners. What about those who got pregnant and, I, and killed the baby? So it is not even the pregnancy that is a sin. It is a fornication. It is the adultery that is a sin. And it is high time we address the real issue. How many of us today in church have been deceived? To believe that you can live your life the way you want. You can go to the to, to nightclubs and dance with prostitutes and live your life the way you drink. You like you drink alcohol, get drunk, live your life, eat anything, drink anything, put on anything, and you are still flying to heaven. It never works like that. Heaven is for those who do the will of God. Listen to this passage. Luke chapter 13, 23 to 30. Listen to the very words of Jesus Christ and let's not deceive ourselves because it is because of these very things the wrath of God is coming upon the children of disobedience. If we say we are in Christ, but don't live the life of Christ. If we say we are Christ-like, but don't do the things that Jesus Christ does. If we hate the very things that Jesus Christ likes, and we like the very things that Jesus Christ hates. How then are we Christ-like? Because we see people who live opposite lives. Opposite lifestyles. And they still claim that they are Christ-like. They are Christians. This shouldn't be. That's a wrong impersonation. How can a criminal claim to be a saint? How many of you, if you are a criminal, you're a drug addict, how many of you can be proud with, you, with your rags on? With your dirty rags? How many of you can be proud to go before a crowd and say, oh, as a matter of fact, my father is a president of this country and I'm proud to be his son, I'm proud to be his daughter. Every sensible person should be ashamed that they are not living up to expectation. Because you don't expect the shadow of a president to be a drunk, to be a prostitute. But why is it that we prostitute? We kill people. Why is it that we commit abortion? We are murderers. We do all sorts of illegal things. We live very dirty lifestyles. And we are not ashamed to claim to be the sons and the daughters of God.